Well, that was surprisingly intense. Um, let's continue as Kala. Why not? Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. He didn't see the murderer until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. A uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in um, both pupils. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. And the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left handed one stab neatly cut the aorta, and the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. They really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yeah. The three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. Do you think it was just by chance? Mm, difficult to say. The chances of cutting all three main arteries to the heart with three lucky stabs are fairly small, but um, it's not impossible. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Come in. H hello, detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Uh, please, take a seat. Now, we're gonna try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Use the character control keys to change the face. Okay. Hmm. Press backspace to choose a random face. Let's do that one. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Now you can be sort of a tricky dicky here and just pick something completely wrong if you want to throw the cops off or if you want them to win you can pick something accurate and you know help them win. I don't know what I'm going to do. No, I'll be a surprise. Not quite him. No problem. We'll try again. Now concentrate. Now I believe if you just keep spam spamming backspace you'll eventually get him. You emphasis on the eventually part, but you know what? 
Uh, we really should just do it. Okay. Um, he had loops like that, I suppose. I really don't pay attention to his nose, so... Or his eyebrows. So this is going to be a little more difficult. Is that kind of, yeah, that's kind of like him. Well, he didn't have any face. I think he didn't have face hair. Okay, well, that's not his nose. Hmm, what did he look like? No. Um, hmm. What does he look like? Oh my god, I've already forgotten. I was just playing as him as well. Oh, that's him. Now, that's is him. This the face of the person you saw? Mm -hmm. There's no doubt in my mind that is him. Yes. At least, that's how I remember him. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you very game. Much for your help. We're going to get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're going to find him. And go buy yourself a video game.